Welcome on board Webcam Flight 1166 with service to Orlando, Florida. Please ensure your carry-on items are placed directly underneath the seat facing you or in the overhead bins for taxi, takeoff, landing, and any in-flight turbulence. Hi, I just got back from my first day at the conference, and my first day was filled with one program, which was a certificate program on guerrilla filmmaking for e-learning and training. So glad I went. Um, it was done with uh, Jeff Harris, and he did a bunch of things. It was very engaging. Um, I think everybody that went really felt that they went away with a lot of uh, new information and um, ideas to go forward in what they were doing. In the guerrilla filmmaking workshop, what I really tried to do is focus on those techniques that people can use with a low budget or you know a small budget or people who are just starting out uh, so you know a lot of times people get into video production and they realize that they really run out of budget when it comes to buying expensive equipment so in this workshop what we're really doing is focusing on those things that really make a big difference in your video but maybe a small budget item I'm not going to go into too great of detail of what happened um, today because it was a six hour course and that would be a very long video for me to regurgitate the whole thing. So I'm just going to um, tell you the, the key things that really stuck out in my mind from the course. We did go in depth on the three point lighting setup which included the key light, the fill light, and the backlight. Um, that's the the norm for, for lighting setups um, but he did also say that they set up a chin light so that's a light that's right in front of you and down low to kind of shine up, which would really help with the videoing that I do because I do notice that with my lighting, I, I sometimes get those shadows underneath the eyes and, and underneath the chin. And so that would be a really good thing to implement on, in my production studio. He said to imagine the lights acting out roles. So the key would be the sun. The fill would be the reflections of the sun, and then the backlight would be the sun as well. He showed us a video of his production studio. He had two monitors, two computer monitors that were set up. One was used as the monitor for the talent. Another one was used for the teleprompter display for the talent. And behind there, they actually had another screen set up for the, um, for the camera operator monitor. And then they had the camera built, um, put onto a... Um, pole and this was all on top of a um, a rolling uh, toolkit and it was it had a wooden top and it was all screwed to the top and it had the toolkit drawers on the on the bottom so you could put all your equipment in there so it was all like portable and it was all together it was it was really pretty cool it's a pretty cool setup oil absorbing wipes um, because I don't have makeup um, for my production so he said to kind of get rid of that shine, just have on hand some oil absorbing wipes so you could just give it to the person and say, here, wipe your face, you're a little shiny. Uh, he said 30 second rule of thumb, so 30 second limit. This is um, for, for visual um, action, so if something isn't happening in like 10 seconds, you gotta start something new. Uh, you have to show something, something else. I think it's to kind of make it engaging and visually appealing. So he said the 30 second limit and more like 10 seconds. Unless you have a really compelling subject. For green screen alternative, um, instead of using the sheet that gets wrinkly and it's hard to light sometimes if it has wrinkles in it, um, there's the Chromat kit that he has. Um, it's uh, Reflect Media that I should look into. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, the LED light is put onto the camera lens and it shines a green light onto the talent and onto this gray backdrop and it just creates a green chrome key screen and it's pretty cool. It looks simple, it looks easy, but fortunately the cost is kind of expensive so I think we'll have to uh, do with the uh, wrinkly sheet for now. But that is something definitely to uh, look into. So thanks for tuning in to my first Reality PD for PC. Um, this is the first day, and I have no doubt that things will be changing. And um, I hope it, it will just keep getting better. 
Um, but this is the first day at the Learning Solutions Conference and Expo, and I hope you tune in to the next days. Thank you very much. Bye.